fly away to fish in the wild. Uh, no bear feathers, no. <laughs> She's a spring chicken still. Um, and of course, these pelicans are spectacular birds. Are they feeding the insects? As you can see, they're one of the largest flying birds in the entire world. Can anybody take a guess at how much one of these guys weighs? How much? 12 kilograms. 50, a little bit lower. What did you say there? 12 kilograms. 12, a little bit lower. Oh. Can anybody else take a guess at how much they weigh? Oh, they Seven. Eat, they, they, they do weigh 7 kilograms. So that's pretty light when you Nine. think about it. They're very large birds. Um, and they also do boast one of the largest meats of species. And this beak is extremely efficient when it comes to fishing. To you can see that they've got this mid fishing net and it's actually really sensitive to locate fish and they use it like a net to scoop up large fish or even to take one single fish at a time. Whoa. You can also see that they do have a large hook on the end of their beak and this actually helps them to stop fish from getting away. It acts much oh. like a fishing hook. Hey! <laughs> Um, they also have an incredibly large wingspan, so their wingspan can get up to two and a half meters, which allows them to fly high up into those thermals, and they can actually travel for hundreds of kilometers at a time. They can even fly for over 24 hours. Now, this is great for when they want to um, migrate. They do embark on one large migration when it comes to breeding, and this can happen many times throughout the year, but the environmental conditions need to be just right. These pelicans can, in fact, um, tell when there's a large rainfall coming and what they'll do is they'll head inland to those lake systems which are perfect for their breeding grounds and because they spend so much time flying they also have an incredible adaptive behavior which we like to call sleeping on the wing so they effectively shut down one half of their brain whilst the other half of their brain oh. remains vigilant to environmental Um, can I ask a question? Yes, of course. Uh, how can we determine uh, if it's female or male? Um, we actually can't determine if they're female or male until they come into the hospital and then like you'd have to do blood tests and things like that. So um, we usually don't know many bird species sex unless we need to find it out for breeding and things like that. Oh, right. Thank you. Um, we're going to move on to our eels in a minute, but just before we do, I'd just like to say, you see this type of bin over here? We were talking about line before with her her um, uh, wing that needs to get amputated. Sharing her story really does help to spread the message of conservation. So if you guys are at the yeah. beach or fishing in our waterways, have a look for these type of boxes. Um, we do have hundreds of water birds that come through our hospital and it's usually from fishing hooks, fishing lines, sinkers and also rubbish ingestion. So one small impact that you guys can make is just picking up your rubbish after a beach day or picking up someone else's rubbish. And it will have a beautiful impact on our lovely water birds. We're going to move on to the eels now. Yeah, that's the one. That I'm I hope maybe you've seen them before. We're going to start stamping our feet. These eels are super instinctual, so they actually will come into the shallows as a result Ooh, of us stamping our feet. Wow! Eat it. Eat it. These eels aren't trained, but they are relying on that natural instinct to locate the food source. Eels start off uh, their life out at sea and they're tiny little sea glass eels. We call them their sea fruits and the predators can't eat them when they're at sea. They 
they make their ways inland to the coastal waterways, which are fresh. Um, and they actually, they, they mature at 30 to 40 years of age, so they're really good with species. Um, and then when they breed, the females will lay about 3 million eggs, but it's actually the males who travel back out to the coral sea to spawn. And it's such a big migration journey for these males, and they unfortunately die on that one trip out, but they do breed. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh, exactly. Wow. So they may not be the prettiest of animals, but I think you can all agree they're pretty incredible.